what are the best cities in America to invest in and what are the best neighborhoods in those cities? So mm-hmm. that question became an absolute fanatic obsession for me, right? So I was like, I have to be able to answer this in a quantitative way. Mm-hmm. And then within that quantitative way, I have to be able to answer it in a qualitative way, right? Yeah. Those are the two things that geeks like us care about. We want quant- quantitative analysis, but then we want qualitative analysis. So what we did was we built this database and we stuck it into this statistical software called R, right? The okay. software is yeah. actually just called R. Yeah. We stuck it in there and we started to throw lots of different parameters in there to see what really affected real estate investors' profit. What are the things that if we throw into our analysis immediately point to this city? Because we know the city is doing really, really well and people mm-hmm. are making huge amounts of profit. So if you keep throwing those, those factors in, does it point directly to that city? So that's what we did. And, and I'm trying to kind of dumb it down here because it was a very you know, complicated algorithm. But in the end, here's the answer to all this, this skullduggery was that five things made the big difference. Cities that had these five things going for them, everybody made money. Even the ones that were buying foolishly made money simply okay. because there was a huge upward momentum. All ships rose all the time, right? So it was population growth, job growth, income growth, home price growth, and crime reduction. Immediately, the moment I say this, people are like, no, no, but you didn't look at, at schools. You didn't look at poverty levels. And the answer is, I did. I stuck in the schools and ended up with the same exact list of cities. So when I took the schools out, because the list was the same and I wanted the simplest possible system, Mm -hmm. I didn't do schools. You want to add school, go schools, go at it. I mean, I'm sure there's a a benefit. My, My focus was, what is the smallest number of factors that gives me the same list of city as the big list of factors? Mm -hmm. And so, so we did that. Then we basically switched to the neighborhoods and we found five other factors for neighborhoods, simpler fa- sim- similar factors like, um, like poverty level, uh, ethnic mix, right? So mm-hmm. neighborhoods with a ethnic mix that was diverse were very easy to rent up. But neighborhoods yeah. that had one ethnic mix, like all whites, all blacks, all you know, Latinos, was very difficult because most of your leads got wasted. People would come, show up, waste your time, but then they'd realize everyone living in here is a Latino and uh, I'm not Latino, I'm Chinese. I'm not gonna live here, right? Yeah. So they would waste a lot of your time. So we, we, we found that actually, if there was a, an ethnic mix, which had lots of different ethnicities, you had a much higher chance of closing your marketing leads right, for tenants. Then we put it on our website and then we realized that very few people were looking at it. I mean, the people that looked at it absolutely adored it. They loved it. They were like, oh my God, this is the, the best thing ever because in, in, in 10 minutes, I can look at a city that I've never even heard of and mm-hmm. tell you things about it that a broker that lives in that city wouldn't be able to tell you, right? It was that powerful. But there were only like 50 people a month taking it. And so we'd like, okay, let's send an email to our database. And by now I was pretty famous, a kind of a micro famous person in the, mm-hmm. in the geek, the, the, not the geek vertical, but the real estate geek vertical, yeah, right? So right, people right. that are you know, in real estate, but are very geeky and like data. So I was you know, famous within that vertical and there were like all these thousands of people that knew me there. So I sent an email out to them and said, so we have this pro- product, you've seen it, it's awesome. Yeah, how do we have 10 or 50 times the people look at this? And that was actually a great email because the answer that came back was really straightforward. Three of the people that sent it back said, you need to look at online education portals, create a video course and stick it there. And so I Google it and the big one, biggest one is udemy.com, udmy.com. So I'm like, okay, maybe I can get 50 more people a month here. So I, you know, I, I spent about 20 days basically creating a video course that's about three hours long. And I stick it on udemy.com slash real focus. That was the name of the system. And it just exploded. I mean, so if yesterday I was showing somebody how many students I have on that course right now, there are 6,420 people taking the course just yesterday. Wow. Wow. And there are 600 five-star reviews, which are more reviews than all of the real estate courses on Udemy put together. And the average review is 4.8 out of 5. So it just went nuts because people realized 